Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Josephine, or just call me Jojo. <laughs> Simple and easy, just call me Jojo. I'm very excited for this video because AI, artificial intelligence. It has been all over the internet lately. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, literally every fucking where. <laughs> Often stolen from small artists, um, Lensa. But what is AI? You see, that is a good question. So let me explain it to you. According to Google and Oxford Languages, the world's leading dictionary publisher, you just know that is the shit when like you're just the world's leading something something. So they define it as the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence scary, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making and translation between languages. For example, Siri and Google Translate. Two really quick examples from the top of my head. Or we could also define it as this. I think this is my favorite definition, by the way. Axo Bitches defined it on February the 8th. 2019 on Urban Dictionary as artificial intelligence. The end of the fucking world. Don't believe shit. Like, is she wrong? I don't know. And the example she gave is, is it AI? They're here? Run! But not to be annoying, I think she, he, they meant. It is AI. They're here. Run. I'm back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. But now that we know what AI is, we can officially or artificially jump into the video. I'm sorry. So I love reading, right? Like I'm asking you, you have to tell me if I do or not. But I love reading. I know that for sure. I love reading. And I like to think that I have a good imagination, especially when it comes to making up stories. So last night, before bed. Usually that is when my head is the most active. So before bed last night, I came up with five different stories or description of a story. <laughs> and you might ask, what has AI to do with this? To answer your question, I usually need help to get started on my stories. So we are putting AI to the test to see if it could make a story or a scene with just a few descriptions. I'm using ChatGPT for this. I will link it down below, by the way, if you want to try it out for yourself. Hi, it's just editing me. <laughs> when I added it, the video, I fell down the rabbit hole of Dolly. Um, I didn't know what it was until I found, found it. No, but when I was trying to find photos for my stories, I found Dolly, which is basically the photo form of chat GBT. You write a description and you get a few photos from that, basically. I'm so sorry in advance if you get uneasy from those photos, because I have never in my life felt more uncanny valley feeling or just uneasy. <laughs> You will see the more you get into the video, but I'm just warning you. But yeah, a few of those photos were terrifying, literally terrifying. So be careful when using Dale, but I will link it down below anyway. So yeah. So all the photos in this video is AI generated. So enjoy. By the way, me editing person here, we'll see you later in the video, by the way. But until then, enjoy. <laughs> I can tell the inspiration first and then what the description is. <laughs> the inspiration for the first one is I am Norwegian, right? I'm in college and I am unfortunate to have gotten the personality of an INFJT. So yeah, that is my inspiration. <laughs> The first description I have is Write a spicy story about two college students who are both NFJT personalities in a small town in northern Norway. Yeah, okay, let's see what is going to happen. The worst thing about asking to write about two NFJTs is that I probably is going to get a little bit hurt and sad uh, because I want to relate way too much. <laughs> Wait, okay, oh, this looks like a full on star. Is it long? Okay, okay. Cool. 
Okay, here we go. Sit back, grab a drink and a popcorn, chips, chocolate, my favorite, and just relax and listen to this spicy, sad INFJ tea story. Once upon a time, in a small town nestled in the icy forest of the northern Norway, there were two college students who were both INFJ T personalities. Their names were Arles and Kian. Arles was a quiet and introspective young woman who spent most of her time lost in her own thoughts, often retreating to the solitude of the forest to clear her mind. Kian was a sensitive and deeply empathic man who was always there for his friends and family, no matter what. Despite the differences, Arles and Kian were drawn to each other like magnets. They shared a deep understanding and connection that went beyond words. They spent hours talking about their hopes, dreams, and fears. And their bond grew stronger with each passing day. Oh, <laughs> cute! But as much as they loved each other, their relationship was not without its challenges. Erlis struggled with their own insecurities and self-doubt, often questioning whether she was worthy of Kian's love. Kian, on the other hand, was plagued by feelings of inadequacy? <laughs> what the fuck? In the quasi, 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 in the quasi. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna say in a quasi. And a fear of not being able to live up to Erlis' expectations. Despite their challenges, they preserved and continued to support each other through thick and thin. They made a promise to always be there for each other, no matter what life threw their way. One cold and stormy night, as they were walking home from a late study session, a car came out of nowhere and hit Erlis, leaving her badly injured. Kian was devastated and felt as though his world had come crashing down. He spent every moment by her side, praying for her recovery and promising to do everything in his power to make her happy. After many long weeks, Erlis finally emerged from her coma. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, she went into a coma. <laughs> okay, continuing. But injuries she sustained were severe. She was left with chronic pain and mobility issues that would stay with her for the rest of her life. Despite this, Erlis and Kian refused to let their challenges defeat them. They remained strong and resilient, supporting each other through the ups and downs of life. And although their journey was filled with sadness and struggles, they remained deeply in love and grateful for every moment they had. The end. Okay, I cannot deny that this is a full-on story. <laughs> like... Okay, yeah. It was a sad story. By the way, this AI chatbot cannot write anything like sexual or um, really spicy. I did like a test run yesterday and it cannot do that. So, so that is why when I ask for it to write a spicy story, it won't really necessarily write a spicy story because it can't write a spicy story because that is inappropriate and I should be ashamed of myself for even coming up with that idea of something spicy. So yeah, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Did I relate to some of this? Absolutely. And, but there is hope for me in this story, you know? Like, I will find true love. I hope I'll find in Kian. We all deserve a Kian. <laughs> yeah, we all deserve a Kian. And then, the next description I came up with. I kind of thought about Animal Farm and Glory. For this next story. I've not read those books, so I thought this could kind of be a test to see if I like the perspective of animals or not, or if I should pick up the books or not. But anyway, let's get let's get to it. Okay? Okay, I try to be creative here. Let's see. Okay. So the description I came up with is write a farm comedy from the animal's perspective where the animals have human mannerisms and can talk. And the owners, an old couple, find out. Let's see what it comes up with. I'm excited. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna see it before it's done. Is it done? Oh no, it's keep Oh my god, okay, it's a long one. Come on, stop, stop, stop. So we are in for a comedy. I'm excited for a comedy. I don't really read comedy, because I often don't understand the humor when it's written down. Is it done? 
Okay, we got a title. Yeah, I hoped for a better title, but it's okay. Are we ready for farm comedy animal perspective? Sit down, relax, and here we go for another one. Okay. It was a hot summer day on the farm and animals were all lounging in the shade to escape the heat. The cows were mooning lazily. Moo. <laughs> the pigs were snuffling and grunting and the chickens were clucking softly. Suddenly, the old farmer, Mr. Johnson, strode into the barn with a worried look on his face. Something is not right, he muttered to himself. The cows are acting strange and the pigs are making noises I've never heard before. The animals watched curiously as Mr. Johnson made his way over to the cow pen. Moo, said one of the cows, rolling her eyes. We're just hungry, Mr. Johnson. Could you please bring us some hay? Why did I make that poor cow sound like a bitch? Sorry. Um, continuing. <laughs> Mr. Johnson's eyes widened in shock. Did that cow just talk to me? He exclaimed. The other animals burst out laughing. Of course we can talk, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Cackled the pigs. We've been able to talk all along. We just never bothered to tell you. Mr. Johnson was flabbergasted. But how is this possible? He asked, scratching his head. It's a long story, Miss Johnson, said the chicken, who had fluttered over to join the group. But the short version is that we have all given the gift of human-like mannerisms and the ability to speak for a group of mischievous fairies. Mr. Johnson shook his head in disbelief, but the animals could tell he was starting to see the humor in the situation. Well, I'll be darned, <laughs> he cuckled. I guess I've got a lot to learn about my own farm. From that day on, the animals and Mr. and Mrs. Johnson lived in harmony with the animals helping out around the farm and sharing their wisdom and humor with the old couple. And although there were certainly some misadventures along the way, the farm had never been more lively or full of laughter. The end. How cute. Okay, I like this one. But uh, <laughs> so much happened. I, I like that. I like this line. We have been able to talk all along. We just never bothered to tell you. Imagine if I just could fly and just dreamt of a roof and just flirted away. And my mom was like, Josephine, what the fuck? And I was like, I could fly all along. I just never bothered to tell you <laughs> because it's such a normal thing. Like everybody can do it, you know? Like it's so normal that animals talk, you know? So why bother to tell them? Oh, I just love that one, you know? But where did fairies come from? Yeah, I never m mentioned fairies, but I like when, I like that the AI took a creative decisions of being like, we need some fantasy in here. Even though like, talking animals is kind of like fantasy. But yeah. Hi again. <laughs> I decided to cut down the amount of stories from five to two because not all the stories were so funny. <laughs> so I decided to just cut out the ones I did not find funny or that just didn't really make so much sense. Um, yeah, but what I'm saying in the outro is still true though, so okay, I will just let you move on to the outro. That was fun. Um, am I slightly scared of how intelligent it is? Yeah, yes, yes I am. It's terrifying, <laughs> but I'm shocked at how good it is to tell stories or like write down stories, like good stories as well. Like, they're well written. So, yeah, I I'm shocked by how good it is. And I think I could see this, or I could see this thing or AI being used as a tool for writers to, you know, get an idea of what they want to write or where to start, you know, like as a building brick or like a foundation, maybe, I don't know. And, um, but yeah, but like in the future, do you think AI may be able to write full on uh, books? or scripts, you know? I'm in college right now to become a journalist and I don't want to think about my job being taken away from me in a few years because we have some robots being like, we are so much smarter than you so we can just like write a full on article in a few minutes. So yeah, I'm not gonna think about that because that's scary. <laughs> Again, the link is down below if you want to try it out for yourself, so yeah. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe down below. And if you want
you want to, you can also follow me on my social medias. Everything is linked down below as always. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.